hey besties starting this vlog out chaotically as my life has been recently so i'm ready it's like 10 i'm about to go for a shoot with lenny lenya i've worked with him before i'll show some of the work i've done with him it's great amazing and we're about to shoot for this really cool concept he has conceptualized in like two days hunted down the outfits like yesterday exactly you can just feel the chaos yeah so i'm on my way there i just called the uber and then we're gonna go my fit is so cozy and warm and nice just like like neutral colors like earthy colors anyway let me show you i'm wearing like a hoodie pants and sneakers let me show you and then we go i have a little suitcase that has like the outfit and then i always carry my foundation shade because i'm like please 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 don't sometimes i no you know the horror stories when you go to a makeup artist and the shade is way off so i carry my own foundation and just like a primer and that's it and yeah so let me show you guys the fit <laughs> So I've just finished the shoot with Lenny and Tinashe as the makeup artist and now I really like the eye makeup so I'm gonna keep this because I have another event I'm getting ready for so I'm just gonna con like do my base again like foundation and everything and I'm gonna change my outfit and then we're gonna head to Kitusuru. Um, I was invited for this event. Uh, here's like the physical invite. It was really cute like the back is written spritz. Um, let me show you guys. Okay, I'm just going to turn the camera, but it's at Kitusuru and it's from 3 to 6 p.m. So yeah, I'm going to be warm. I'm wearing a fur coat and everything. So let's go. When you're not near, I don't feel like I do when you're Right? So I just wanted to launch these two babies because they are very, very um, important to me and to my hair care journey and most of you have been with me in this journey for very long and uh, I'm very sure going to love this product and it's like we say goodbye to dry, damaged, scattered rose and I'm saying hello to my healthy hair so I can't wait for you guys to try the products. Um, you'll fall in love with them as much as I'm already in love with them. Hey besties, it's been a long time since I picked up the camera to record since the last vlogs that you watched it's almost been like two and a half weeks and there's definitely a reason for that and that's actually what i want to talk about for the rest of this video um but i've also been postponing to just like pick up the camera because i'm trying to unlearn the pressure of always looking camera ready like always having your makeup done or like just doing like makeups so that you look presentable i'm trying to unlearn that and i'm just trying to be presentable in my natural state like showered skincare just being able to pick up the camera and it's funny because usually for like morning routine videos you can just pick up the camera when you're awake but then there's something about sit down videos that brings this kind of like pressure to just like look really good okay so let me just get into the reasons why i haven't picked up the camera for a while since the last vlogs that you watched <sighs> Okay, so basically I want to share with you guys the reason why I wasn't able to pick up my camera for like two and a half weeks and I've even struggled like coming to terms with the fact that I was going to share this because I have such problems taking up space for myself like I'll always gaslight myself 
out of sharing my issues with other people i always tell myself no it's gonna look like you're trying to get attention it's gonna look like this it's gonna look like that and finally today i just decided to just take space for myself and just come share the story because some people out there could be going through the same thing and maybe you have some advice for me or i could just be letting somebody know that somebody else out there has had the same thing happen to them so the reason that i haven't picked up the camera for like two and a half weeks is because i had a panic attack besties so let me tell you what happened usually sometimes during the night i'll feel like i can't actually wait trigger warning for anybody who's watching this and has problems with what i'm about to say i just want to give a trigger warning so yeah um usually sometimes i feel like i can't breathe so well but it's usually like a mind trick and then i tell my mind ah you can breathe so come down and then my mind usually like listens to me or believes it and um i'm good in like an hour or like even some like 30 minutes some minutes you know but this particular day I remember I had the same feeling of not being able to breathe, like my chest was a bit tight, my throat was a bit tight, and um, and it lasted for hours. Like I remember I tried the usual, just convincing myself it's in my mind, tried that, tried that, didn't work. At around 2 a.m. I was like, why is it not working? And this started at around 12. I was going, I even got out of my bed, I was just walking around the house, I was going to like... There have been so many of these just flying around it's because it's almost election time anyway yeah so this day i woke up i was walking around i went to the bathroom i was just like sitting in the bathroom for a while and then i was like why is it not going away and i remember when i was about to walk into my room my mom somehow was awake at 3 a.m and asked me like is everything okay and i told myself okay i just have to say because i don't like to bother people especially because I know sometimes this happens to me and it's all in my head I don't like to bother people and then it's like a false alarm I don't know I feel very mm -hmm about like telling people issues and then they take their time it's like 3 a.m. they take me to the hospital and then the hospital says it's nothing so I was trying to avoid that but when she asked me I was like okay I'm just gonna say so I was rushed to hospital and besties my test came back good like I am completely 110 20 even percent healthy all my tests were amazing um and the doctor just told me like what are you panicking about just relax and gave me like a three-day pill to take to just relax and sleep better and it was just like it's probably just like a panic attack and i was like what would i be panicking about and even he was trying to ask me is there anything you're panicking about and i couldn't even think of one thing so i guess what that did is just it just made me realize that i think i need to make a few changes because i've just come from like uni yeah and now we're in the stage before you graduate and that's almost like a major life change like going from uni into the world and i feel like i have i have i had and i have to make a few changes especially since i work from home now as a content creator you know so i was like i need to make a few changes to things I do generally so I wanted to make this part of the video to just tell you some of the things I've been doing um, while just like inserting videos and just like narrating I don't know I really like this style of video Zuh. so I thought I would bring it and see what you guys think okay so I'm going to tell you some of the changes I made and I guess I feel better now not I guess I actually do feel a lot better now more calm I just struggle with sleep a bit but it's nothing serious I think so the first thing that I did is, this was completely spontaneous, but then it just made me realize that I need to be more in touch with nature. And as weird as that sounds, nature completely calms me. Like, because nature is so calming. Because I feel like in Nairobi, <laughs> we're just hustling day to day that sometimes it's like nature is not even in your mind, like going to connect with nature. It's not even in your mind. So I remember this day, me and Sandra planned this spontaneous trip to Red Hill Limuru. We were supposed to try this restaurant called Cow and Cock. It's a really good restaurant. You guys should try it. And then in the middle or like after we ate at the restaurant, we were just driving and we asked, we just asked ourselves, we were like, do you think there are any waterfalls in the area? So I went on Google Maps, I googled waterfalls in the area and we just ended up at this place called Waterfall Inn and then it's just like a really short hike to the waterfalls and let me tell you when I was looking at this waterfall I just felt so 
like completely at peace. I know. I was just in awe because nature is just mind blowing. Like, how is water coming off a cliff 24 7? I don't even understand. But there's something about nature that just made me feel so grounded, so at peace. And I remember we made a pact to like um, leave Nairobi at least once a month because it's actually really important. I had like my head outside the window, I had a really nice day, and it was really calming. So I just realized that I need to be in touch with nature more, even though it's not like leaving the county. Um, it could be just something as small as going to the park or something as small as buying myself flowers. I don't know. I just think even just sitting in a park, like in the silence and the sounds of nature, it's just so calming. That's why they've installed freaking ocean sounds and rain sounds on iPhone and people go and listen to rain sounds because nature is just coming i don't understand the science behind it but there's something about nature that's just so coming and i've decided to completely put myself in nature at least twice a month i don't know as often as i can i feel like it puts me at peace and allows me to think very like clearly yeah okay so second thing i did um was because of a realization i had so you guys know if you've been here for a while when I was in law school I used to use content creation as an outlet just to like stay sane because we all know law school is stressful uni is just stressful like there's always something stressing you can never even have like one good night's sleep like something is always up so I remember I used to use content creation as an outlet so on the weekends I'd be recording and it would make me feel so like I've released some stress I don't know how to explain it but yeah it was just an outlet for me and I realized so after finishing uni I realized um I don't have an outlet like missed we don't have an outlet because my outlet has now become my job so right now I'm content creating full time I'm not doing any other job I'm not doing anything else it's just content creation so I realized my outlet became my job or like my outlet is now like my work so I don't have an outlet from work itself and when I realized that I was like oh my god and now I'm in a two-person book club we're actually reading this book it's called Transcendent Kingdom by Yagasi so each month um, we choose a book and I chose the book this month. He's gonna choose the book next month. And that's what we've been doing and I just realized I needed to find an outlet outside content so my new outlet is like picking up hobbies like I used to like reading a lot in like high school and I didn't find so much time to read in uni so picking up reading again is really nice because I remember why I liked reading in the first place and we're reading purely fiction not even like motivational books or self-help books it's just fiction meaning we're taking our minds completely off work, completely off self-help. We're just enjoying a good fiction book. And I think that's important. I'm going to pick up so many more hobbies. I bought a sketchbook the other day. I'm just going to be sketching and painting. I want to pick up my instruments again, like guitar. I don't know if I'm going to pick up violin again. Maybe, you know, we never know. So I'm just trying to find hobbies away from work that I could use as an outlet. And I think it's been working so far because like when I just read, I get lost in this fictional world and yeah it's definitely an outlet because taking content creation as both an outlet and as work as well could get a bit overwhelming so yeah definitely just find an outlet to not even to avoid but to release some of the stress from what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and I think that's really helped me a lot so yeah and finally, which is not really finally because I feel like every week I just learn something new that I'm like oh let me try that um, yeah, but finally, 
I decided to remind myself, like I knew this but I kind of forgot that self-care is just not all about, you know, lighting your candle and putting on a face mask. Self-care is definitely mental as well and I forgot this, I don't know how but for a long time, anytime I'd have self-care days, I was just doing, you know, face masks, you know, body scrub in the shower, my candle and I would be like, yeah, self-care done. But yeah, it's reminding myself that self-care is also mental and I've started to get into meditation and like listening to podcasts that talk a lot about the mind talk a lot about breath just like learning about that as well and like experiencing that as well i have three podcasts that i feel like you guys would like too i listened to one yesterday it's called come the bleep down already by the name i was like yeah i feel like i'm going to like this podcast and then there's this other podcast called deconstructing yourself and then there's another one called untangle mindfulness for curious humans like i've been listening i want to listen to these three podcasts back to back on my self-care days um and meditate as well i feel like that works i don't know but yeah basically that's what i've been doing i still don't know why i was panicking is there even a reason i don't know but i feel so much better now maybe i just needed an outlet to be honest and yeah that's all i wanted to say guys <laughs> It's been so much, I don't know, like, sharing takes a lot for me. And even naming this video, I was stressing because I was like, should I put in the title, like, that I had a panic attack? And I was like, again, my mind was telling me, yeah, but that would be just like, you're looking for attention. But then as, again, like, I think I'm just going to finally take space for myself. So if you see that in the title of the video, just know I decided to take space for myself and also just like share this with anyone who's experienced this or with anyone who could have tips for me what did they do i don't know um and yeah just to also like not normalize it but just show people that yeah even the people you think maybe don't have such things going on also do have such things going on and yeah um thank you so much for watching this video guys besties i'll see you guys in the next one bye